Okay, this is a Schwinn Sidewinder um, mountain bike. Bought at Walmart for about $164. My buddy had it and he crashed it, messed up the handlebars and the derailleur, so he was going to trash it and he gave it to me instead. So I did a couple modifications on it with some stuff I had laying around. The first thing I did was I bought this quill stem for it for about $20 at the local uh, mountain bike store. And then I picked up some of these Stingray style handlebars um, that just brings it up a little bit. I used the existing grip shift. I extended the um, handlebars by getting a rigid uh, handlebar cover here that bolts on. Gives it a nice cruiser look. Used the same brake levers as he had before. But I had to buy two shift cables and two uh, brake cables and extend it so it could, it could accommodate the new height right there. Pretty much use the standard Sun Tour forks, not really great mountain bike forks by any stretch, but they're good for urban stuff and softening the bumps. I um, added uh, the Shimano XT Dior derailleur that I had from my old mountain bike that I upgraded. A pretty good derailleur, very precise, tight shifting. I added some Kenda um, K-Rad tires on it, kind of a hybrid road, off-road tire. Really good for both. Put in a new saddle. Um, with a new seat post, a uh, $10 seat post, aluminum, kind of cheap, but very functional, very efficient. And uh, that's it. It's a beach cruiser. It's not my primary mountain bike, but it's for kicking around town, taking to the beach, check the waves, riding to the grocery store. Very much a relaxed type of setup. Not a, not a lean forward mountain bike, but more of a laid back beach cruiser. So really add probably about 100 bucks on to this um, bike frame. It's a heavy frame, but it's very rigid, very stable. Does bumps really well. There's no frame bend or stretch that I could feel. And uh, turned out nice. Good little cruiser. 21 speed. Everything works good. Pretty good deal.